Hey, it's Joshua back again. It's already the 18th. I've been not doing too much in the last week, week and a half. I haven't been doing that any testing, just more or less a lot of research. Anyway, I do have the, uh, uh, the stainless. This is the, uh, the right piece here. Yeah. This is the set to the golden ratio of uh, one. This is set to the golden ratio of two times the circumference. And uh, this one here, uh, three times the circumference of the which equals golden ratio, three, three times the golden ratio length. So the long one would be 24 and three quarter. This one here, which is twice the golden ratio would be 16 and a half and this one eight. Eight and a quarter. So number or schedule of ten stainless. I'm not gonna test this right away though, I'm gonna continue on with the five inch. I already have the uh, five inch in place, so I'm ready to test. Just looking for anomalies here. Alright. At some point soon I'll be making a uh, I've been thinking about it, about making a, uh, a rocket stove gasifier, but more or less just to produce a wood gas for the drill pipe. So that's where I'm at now. Okay, turning on the power. Quick test here. Here is it on low. Turn you on the propane. The 21 inch test had. Some unusual properties. There you go. Turning down the propane. Okay, level two, going into level three. Trying for the best present frequency. It's not too bad there. Let's turn up the air. The shorter the flame produces, a, the shorter pipe produces more flame, the longer pipe less flames. Going up the air. Actually turning up the air seems to affect it. Turn on a little more propane. More sensitive when the pipes are short. Right about there we'll ask. There we go. Not very smooth. Ignition. The turning up the air takes away. Setting there. Yeah, okay, take you around around to the front here. I got my assembly. This is the 5 inch. 
not set up a golden ratio. The golden ratio is eight and a quarter. Somewhat of a level four, but not not a healthy level four. It's way more plain than what you would get on the 21 inch pipe. Again, we're checking for the resonant frequency using various lengths of pipe. Next, that's what the best setting is. Is heating up inside. Can't wait until I start insulating these pipes. All right. Quite a bit of heat here. You can feel the heat about three feet back. It's fairly intense. So with a five inch pipe with a 1.628 inside diameter, it uh, does produce lots of mass heat, but you get quite a bit of flame. You know, there's quite a bit of flame front here. With the 21 inch, you know, you can tune the flame just to a couple inches and you would get 2,000 degree heat exhaust coming out and what I'm hoping is that once the uh, uh, bio stove is produced or once I have a rocket stove going then I'll be able to use the uh, the wood gas to run through the jewel pipe where the jewel pipe will actually spin it and uh, spin the wood gas to maximize the efficiency you get out you get a complete burn that way okay I've been doing some research on uh, the soils they have in Sweden where they, they, if they take the primary burn of the wood gas and they spin it through a vortex to a cyclonic uh, spinner and they generate incredible amounts of superheated air and that's what I'm hoping to do with the drill pipe. We need to see if wood gas is going to burn first. There would be a difference between uh, using uh, propane and using uh, using uh, other types of fuels. The hydrogen should work uh, quite efficiently within the drill pipe. That's what we want to find out. Okay, we're going to stop her here. Come back and set up with the 10-inch pipe. This is the 5-inch pipe, mild steel.